In 2003, when Pat Casey was asked to join the Duke team working to open a sister medical school in Singapore, his initial reaction was, why Singapore? But after then-Chancellor for Health Affairs Ralph Snyderman and then-Medical School Dean Sandy Williams articulated why partnering with the Asian city-state offered a great opportunity for Duke, Casey was all in. I mean, we've seen a lot of return come from this. So we have new discoveries in liver cancer and in stomach cancer. Because of the unique population and the way the disease presents in Asia, we've made unique discoveries. Same thing in type 2 diabetes, uh, in heart failure. In emerging infectious diseases, we focus on dengue and Zika and flaviviruses, as well as influenza. Casey became the first full-time on-site employee of the Duke NUS Graduate Medical School and moved his family to Singapore in 2005 to begin the arduous process of helping to build a medical school literally from the ground up. There were many reasons why Sandy Williams, Duke NUS's inaugural dean, was adamant that Casey was perfect for the job. The individual has to have A-plus scholarly credentials, Williams said, an outstanding record in teaching, a deep understanding of medical education at Duke, and a keen appetite for adventure. So it was a startup, and it was a startup culture, and it was quite exciting from that standpoint. The obvious challenge is we had no facility, we had no staff, we had no faculty, we had no investigators. Casey worked with government agencies in Singapore to establish research, education, and health system partnerships. He was the chief architect of the school's five signature research programs. Each of them was selected because it's a major health burden in Singapore and Southeast Asia. We felt that they could connect substantively to activities at Duke Durham, where uh, major research efforts were underway. Earlier this year, the Duke NUS Cancer Research Team won a major award for its global impact on cancer research, the Team Science Award from the American Association for Cancer Research. It was the first time in Asia any, any team had ever won that prize. Having grown up on a farm in South Dakota, Casey has always been interested in biology. He arrived at Duke in 1990 as an already internationally respected cancer biologist. His discovery of a lipid modification in which signaling proteins important in cancer were disrupted by the attachment of a lipid earned him the prestigious Amgen Award from the American Society of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. We understand the disease processes much better than we did 25 years ago. There are clinical trials of agents targeting this process that are underway. Duke appealed to him because of its ability to bring together researchers in fundamental cell regulation and cancer. The Duke Cancer Center was a big draw because there was much going on there. Uh, and the environment at Duke was, was, to me, a very exciting place. Casey became the founding director of Duke's Center for Chemical Biology and helped found and then directed the program in molecular cancer biology. And at Duke and in Singapore, he has taught, mentored, and nurtured countless students and trainees. I like to see the spark in their eye when things work. <laughs> You get energized when these young folks are coming up and they're bringing you ideas and they're troubleshooting with them. Seeing that spark, particularly the ones that are clearly going to continue on in research and you, you help them get that start. Casey's wife, Mei Wong, is a clinical scientist in the Cancer and Stem Cell Biology program at Duke NUS. They have two children. Their son is a Duke grad now at Northwestern and their daughter is a high school sophomore in Singapore. We like to be outdoors, we, as much as the weather allows here. It's very warm and humid always, but we've been to Thailand, we've been to Indonesia, Australia, New Zealand. So one nice thing about Singapore is it's a short flight to many interesting places in the world. So Casey's Duke journey has been anything but short, and he says he is grateful for that. You want to grow, if you want to do something different, if you want to expand what you're doing, you know, Duke is always there for, with the opportunities. And he and Mei Wong look forward to being there in 15 years for Duke NUS's 25th anniversary. And we're just so happy to be, have been a part of it.